Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you guys? I hope you all had a very merry, healthy, happy, and safe holiday. This is going to be your general reading from now through the rest of December. It is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So just please take what's meant for you and leave the rest behind. It is energy, so the roles could be reversed. And if guys, if you need to flip those roles around for it to resonate, please feel free to do so. And information for scheduling personal readings is in the description box below. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and go check them out. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very beautiful Libras, now through the rest of December, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may you please find those who need to hear them. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. For my very beautiful Libras, now through the rest of December, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. While I was shuffling, we had these Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune pop out for you. We'll see if they come back out in your reading. But still, very good cards. Things moving forward, being successful, feeling confident in your choices and in your path. I like it a lot. All right, let's see what we got going on, Libra. Okay, so we the, the Six of Wands did come back up in your reading, which is perfect. I love how it does that. When things are meant to come out, they just do. All right, let's take a look here and see what we got going on for you. So we do have the Three of Wands in the reverse as your kind of overall energy. So everything else in the reading is going to be tied back to this. I feel like there was something that you were waiting for for quite a while, Libra. I do feel like there was an ending here. And I feel like you were waiting maybe for a reconciliation. I don't know. We'll go into it further. But there was something that you were waiting for for quite a while after this ending. Maybe it was during the ending. Maybe you were waiting for things to turn around, things to get better. Um, but I do see that ending happening here. And it's like you gave up hope. It's like you were waiting and waiting and waiting in vain. Um, and with the star card being in reverse, I do feel like you eventually lost hope. You lost faith that it was going to work out. And I do feel like the ending occurred. Or maybe you lost hope and faith that things were going to come back around. We will clarify to get as much information for you as possible. But, and I do feel like there was a very strong soul connection here because you do have the Two of Cups showing up as well. So I feel like, Libra, maybe right now, after this ending, I feel like you're in this kind of in-between phase. That's what this feels like, where there was something you were hoping for, something that you really wanted. And you kind of like put all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. And when that didn't work out, um, I feel like it took you a little bit of time to accept that. I feel like you have accepted that now, but I feel like at this point, you're at this point where it feels like, what do I do from here? Where do I go from here? Because I've spent so much of my time, so much of myself, so much of my energy, um, you know, wanting and waiting and hoping for this one thing to happen. And now... I'm not really sure where to go from here. I got the chariot in the reverse. So you're not really like moving. You're just kind of standing still, it feels like. I feel like you're trying to figure out where to go from here. So let's take a look. Let's go a little further into this. Tell me about... Yeah, so the Ten of Swords fell out on top of the Ten of Swords. So there was definitely a major ending here. So guys, like I said, this is a general reading. Um, it's going to resonate differently for everybody. Um, but I do feel like this is, 
not only is it over, but with the Ten of Swords landing on the Ten of Swords, that's telling me as a reader that not only has it ended, but you've accepted that it's ended. Um, swords represent things in your mind, you know, things of the mind. So the Ten of Swords, it's, it's admitting and acknowledging to yourself that it's really truly over. And sometimes I feel like that's even harder to do than the actual ending, the actual breakup. Sometimes getting to that place where you have to admit that this person is no longer going to be in your life or this situation is no longer going to be in your life, you know, and that you have to move on. Sometimes that moment, sometimes being able to admit and acknowledge that is even more challenging than the ending itself. But I see that you've done that. You've gotten to that place. And now I feel like you're, that's why you're at this in-between phase, like, okay, I know that this is over. I know it's not going to work out, but where do I go from here? What do I do now? Because I've wanted this for so long. I've been in that energy for so long that where do I go now? Tell me about the star card in the reverse, please. Why is the star card in the reverse here for Libra? The king of cups. So I feel like you held on to this connection for so long because there was so much love here. You had so much love for this person. But I also feel like you were able to come to this acceptance because you are in control over your emotions. You're not in that place of being overly emotional about it at this point where your emotions are running the show. You are in control over your emotions. And you can see things very clearly because of that. You have that beautiful Libra mind, that beautiful air sign quality to be able to balance the emotions. And you're like, okay, yes, I do have a lot of love for this person. Yes, I really did want this. But I have to accept that it's it's not working out. I have to accept that this is not meant for me. And I feel like you're doing that. You've done that. And that's very difficult. So you should be very proud of yourself, Libra, because... It takes a lot to be able to find that balance between the heart and the mind. It takes a lot to be able to um, admit those things to ourselves and to have the courage to let go and go on a new path to start something new. So be proud of yourself. You might not be where you want to be, but you're further than you were and you've made a ton of progress. Tell me about this Two of Cups for Libra, please. The Eight of Cups. So yeah, like I said, a very strong soul connection. Either you had to walk away or they did. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Libra? Oh, that's too many. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Libra, please? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like somebody was being very dishonest with you. Um, I'm kind of feeling like somebody sold you a lie, sold you a dream. Like maybe somebody told you that they wanted the same things that you did. Um, that they wanted, you know, a long-term stable commitment with you. That they were looking for true love. You know, that they, they just sold this lie is how it feels. Like they weren't honest about what their true intentions were the moon card in the reverse, but now that has come to the surface. Now, everything that was once hidden by the moon, all the secrets that were once hidden have come to the light now with the moon card being in the reverse. They're no longer hidden from you. And now that you see that, I feel like that instigated you giving up hope because now you see this person for who they are and what they really, you know, what their true intentions were. Yeah, I'm feeling a very dishonest energy with this person. So I don't know if you had to walk away because of that or, you know, they walked away because of their dishonesties and because they weren't being honest about what they really wanted and, you know, what their intentions truly were for this connection. But either way, you see it now. And you're at this place where, yes, I can admit, I see things for how they really are. I know the truth. I have that clarity. And yes, I still have a lot of love for this person, but I also know that this isn't what I really want. I also know this isn't in my highest good and that I need to move forward. 
So tell me about this chariot in the reverse. Why is the chariot in the reverse here for Libra? Why is the chariot in the reverse here? So the six of swords in reverse. So this tells me that you feel like you're still very much in this situation, um, that you really haven't overcome it all the way. And Libra, I feel like you're being a little hard on yourself because you guys have, like I said, you have made a lot of progress. Just admitting that it's over and being honest with yourself and seeing things for how they are and not letting just your emotions run the show is huge progress, is healing. Um, I feel like you have taken steps and I feel like you're just not really giving yourself credit for that because you feel like you're not as over it as you should be or you, you know, you're still feeling the pains of it. And it is a grieving process. And when somebody hurts us, you know, it takes some time to heal. There is no time stamp on healing. There's no set amount of time where you're supposed to just be over something. You're doing all the right things. You're taking all the right steps. I don't feel like, I feel like this is not saying you are stuck and that you're still in it. I feel like this is just how you feel about it, Libra, but... I feel like you should give yourself some more credit because I do feel like those are huge steps that you've taken. So tell me, we have the six of wands, like I said, coming up right after that. So you are going to be successful. And I feel like towards the end of December, even like the very beginning of January, I do see you stepping into your confidence again. I do see you starting to see the progress that you've made and see that you know maybe this is a really good thing for you i think you're opening yourself up to the possibilities i feel like you're gaining your self-esteem back i feel like you're also going to be looking very attractive at this time so definitely a good time to put yourself out there and yes i do know that we are you know um, we do have all of that fun stuff going on right now so it's hard to get out there and socialize and put yourself out there but there are other ways of doing it. There's online dating sites and things like that. But wherever people are seeing you, even if it's at work, um, I do feel like people are going to be seeing you as somebody who is very confident and someone who is very attractive. I feel like it's even, I'm hearing the words, make it or fake it till you make it. I feel like, you know, you might not feel all the way there, but I feel like you're slowly getting there. You're slowly starting to realize the progress that you've made. And I feel like you're slowly starting to see your worth and that's really helping with your confidence just because this person didn't see your value does not make you less valuable libra you know you're still just as valuable whether this person is able to realize that or not it's like you're still a rainbow this person might be color by so they can't appreciate the fact that you're a beautiful rainbow that does not mean that you're not a beautiful rainbow and there's plenty of people that are going to see that and appreciate you and value you just for who you are Tell me about the Six of Wands for Libra. The Chariot. Oh my goodness. And the Ace of Wands. Wow. So right here in the you have the Chariot in the reverse where you're feeling like you're not moving forward. You're feeling kind of stuck in this energy. Like you haven't made as much progress. You don't know what to do from here. But I do see new opportunities coming in with this Ace of Wands. And I feel like it's going to really help with that confidence really going to help you overcome this all the way and give you that confidence to push forward to move forward and things are going to start to feel a little less stuck for you then we have the queen of wands immediately following i love this energy for you especially with this six of wands because the queen of wands is all about you know one she does work on her shadow self she's got her black cat there she's aware of the things that maybe she wants to work on about herself, her shadow self, and she works on them and she does that fearlessly. She's not afraid to, you know, admit that she has flaws. She's not afraid to, you know, go down deep and figure out why she, you know, has some of the issues that she has. And she owns that and she does her work. But as well as she's very confident, she's very outgoing, she's very fun to be around. She's extremely, extremely confident and knows her self-worth. And I feel like this is you. You're going to be getting into that energy. Because of whatever this Ace of Wands is, this new opportunity, this new thing coming in is really going to, you know, um, 
light that fire back in you, so to speak. That's There's a lot of fire energy all of a sudden. So I feel like it's going to light that fire back within you and help give you that confidence back. So let's see what this Ace of Wands is all about. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The King of Wands. Whew. Okay. Okay, then. So, like I said, you're showing up at the end of your reading in a very strong position with the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And what did we have come out? This new opportunity, this new thing coming in for you that just is a game changer for you. We have the King of Wands. So we do have a set pair here, guys. I love this for you. This is somebody who's also very charming, very outgoing, very charismatic. Um, someone who's very nurturing as well. Just very strong. There's a quiet strength to them. They seem just charming and outgoing and fun. But at the same time, there's a quiet inner strength to them. They're very nurturing. They're very loving. They're very compassionate. I really love this for you. I really do love this for you. More fire energy. So you... Libras, you very well could have a fire sign coming in for you, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I definitely feel that for you. So this is somebody who's going to help you gain your confidence back. It's like this person is, their interest in you, like, helps you realize, like, man, I really do have it. Like, look at me. Like, I really am amazing. This person helps you see how amazing you really are. They also help you with that confidence back by showing you, you know what, just because this person didn't see your worth doesn't mean that nobody's going to because this person does. This person sees you as the queen of wands. They see you as somebody who's confident, someone who's sexy, someone who owns their stuff, someone who works on themselves, someone who's trying to develop and grow. I really love this. They also see you as somebody, especially I'm getting drawn to the sunflowers here. They see you as somebody who's very um, enlightened as well and who's just a generally really happy person. And I feel like you make this person happy. I feel like you guys have a lot of fun together. So that is going to move forward pretty quickly with this chariot too. So I, like I said, I definitely feel like this is coming in for you and it's really going to help you gain your confidence back. So I do feel like you're about to be meeting someone very significant, very important, someone you're going to have a lot of fun with. I am just in love with this reading for you guys. All right, I want to, like I said, I feel like this is someone you could even be meeting around maybe New Year's. Maybe you do something for New Year's. Um, or maybe you decide, you know what, it's time. Because you've admitted that it's time to move forward, you decide to put yourself out up there and put yourself on an app. There's something about putting yourself back out there and taking a chance. So I'm also hearing, like, maybe you guys need to go try something a little different. If you guys get listen to your, like, urges and your intuition, um, because if you guys maybe with maybe you guys go to the park and you go for a walk or something maybe you do decide to go to a different park or you know maybe you randomly get this urge to stop at the mall and you normally wouldn't you know listen to those little urges because I feel like you're going to be meeting this person spontaneously and while you're putting yourself out there um I'm really excited about this for you this looks really great and I love that you're getting your confidence back because you absolutely should have that confidence. Like I said, Libra, you are a rainbow. This person is colorblind. Just because they don't see how valuable you are, just because they were incapable of seeing your value, doesn't mean you're not valuable. And guys, this says way more about them than it ever did about you. And it usually does when somebody leaves us or when somebody hurts us or, you know, does things like this to us. It does say more about them because people who are mentally emotionally and spiritually healthy don't go around doing things like this to people and they don't go around lying and misleading people so you know the fact that this person did that in the first place just really shows where they're at and it says way more about them than it says about you all right let's use the oracle cards now to get some confirmation clarification or advice for you Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Oop. Well, that was really fast. That was way too many. Let's try again. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Can I please get some confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Libras? There we go. Oh, we got three. So let's see. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. Heck, yes, you are. This is definitely your spirit guides, your ancestors, your archangels telling you, 
to regain that inner confidence, to not let, not think that this is something that was about you or your worth, that you are lovable. You deserve love. This is not, this is not about you. They want you to get that spark back, Libra. They know how amazing that you are and they want you to know it too. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this is somebody maybe that normally, you know, isn't the person that you would go out with. Maybe they're not exactly like somebody that you've dated before. But Spirit's saying, just be open-minded. Give them a shot. Give it a chance. Have that conversation because you just never know. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you absolutely are manifesting this person. And guys, sometimes the universe has to like have a tower moment where they remove things and people from our lives who are not meant to be there and who are taking up the space of the person who is meant to be there. And they have to get rid of these people so that you can come into alignment and meet the person that you are meant to spend your life with, who is in alignment with you, who is mentally, emotionally, spiritually healthy and happy. I really love this for you. All right, let's do some analogy cards now for the same thing. Some confirmation, clarification, or advice. So one more. Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors. They are jumping out for you guys today. I don't even get to finish praying. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. That's what I feel like saying. This is what I'm talking about when I say, by the way, Sagittarius too, like I said, fire sign. This person coming in could be a fire sign. Really look at the connection that you had with this person. Like, were you really happy? Is this person really what you want? Do you really want to be with somebody who would hurt you that way? Do you really want to be with somebody who doesn't see your value? Spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture of it. In that moment, it feels like you lost a lot. But Libra, I don't think you're the one that lost anything. I feel like this person is the one who lost everything. Because Libra, this person doesn't even see how amazing you are. That's not somebody that you want. You want somebody who, one, is emotionally healthy and happy and aligned. And somebody who knows how amazing you are and treats you as such. And I feel like that's what the universe is doing. They're saying, don't worry. There's a bigger picture here. We're getting rid of this person because we have bigger, better things waiting for you. And a new start is coming. New moon. Exactly. They don't want you to be down. They don't want you to feel stuck. They want you to have confidence in knowing that things are working out and aligning for you. I heard like read this little meme thing the other day that was like spirits and the angels. Everyone's holding conversations in heaven about you. Things are okay. That's what it is. Like you have a team of archangels, of spirit guides, of ancestors who are pulling strings and working things out and aligning everything just so that you can have this new start and to get rid of the people that aren't meant for you. So even when you don't understand why something is happening or even when you feel stuck, just keep in mind that there is a bigger picture and things are really working out exactly the way that they are meant to in your highest good, okay? And confidence is your key to success. I probably said confidence like 15 times in this video at the very least. And Leo... This is Leo energy too, more fire energy. So definitely could be a Leo. I'm definitely feeling heavy fire energy. So if you meet any fire signs, watch out. They're ready for you. So confidence is your key to success. Spirit's definitely wanting you to know your worth and gain that confidence back because you deserve to have it. You are every bit of, you're every bit worthy of this amazing love that you want. And it's coming in for you. All right. Now we're going to use the Archangel deck to ask the Archangels that are watching over you and guiding you the very most what message they have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and guide my beautiful Libras now through the remainder of December and out of this connection and into their true path, what message do you have for them? Can I get one more message from my beautiful Libras, please? What message do you have for them? There we go. Let's see what we got. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So I feel like this is saying, you know, that person that you're dealing with, the person that hurt you, they're obviously not mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you know, healthy, like I said. And a lot of times that comes from traumas and things that they've been through in the past. Sometimes it goes back to even 
you know, childhood traumas for some people. So this is about just understanding that that's where they at, they're at, praying for them and hoping that they find healing and find peace and doing what's best for you. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Archangel Raphael, helping you heal, helping you overcome obstacles. I love that for you guys. All right, guys, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. If this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Um, like I said, information for personal readings is going to be in the description box below. And guys, I know that you've been through a lot and you've overcome a lot, but keep that faith, have that positive mindset to help you manifest this connection in, okay? And if you guys want personal prayers for any reason at all, you don't have to specify. Just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And guys, I will be praying for you personally, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Till next time.